Welcome to my September 25th, creating photos and videos. I often will add B-roll or other video to my videos to demonstrate something I'm talking about or to add a little bit of interest to the video. And sometimes I want that video to take up the whole frame. Now, I edit always in LumaFusion on my iPad, and so I'll just lay that second video on the second video track over the main track and it just takes up the whole the whole frame so you don't you don't see what's on the main track but occasionally i want it to be a picture in picture a little frame that is just showing the the video running uh as in this video it might be right up here and the to, to illustrate what i'm talking about and it's it's obvious enough what's in happening in that video that it doesn't need to be full frame here's a little tutorial on using LumaFusion and creating a border around the inserted video, the picture in picture, the PIP, so that it stands out a little bit more. Okay, so if I have a video and I want to put a picture in a picture, another video over it, so I've, I've added a video on top of the main video. I want to double tap on the overlay video and choose a right hand pip so now what that does is create a little window to show that overlay video on the right hand side of my frame i go back to the main timeline and as you can see it's there but it doesn't i mean it shows up but it doesn't show up real well so what i like to do is put the video on the third track the picture in picture video on the third track, and then add, so let's get to the beginning of that, add an overlay title between them, double tap on the overlay title, and get rid of the text. Okay, so they have no text. Now we wanna add a shape. And so it creates a white shape, and you can see through the shape, you can see where the, the the picture to picture is, line them up so that it basically outlines that PIP. Let me just get it about right, right there. Bring this, oops, up, 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 up. Come into the end here. There we go. Maybe down a little bit. Okay, that looks decent enough. So we'll accept that, go back, and now we have a border around the um, picture, and I think it makes it show up a little bit better. Of course, you could make that border appear, and actually we know it's a rectangle. We could make it you know, any color we want. We can make it red, or we can make it black, uh, and go back, and now we have a black border around the picture in the picture. But whatever you choose to do, I'm going to put it back to a white border. You can then save this as a preset. So just give it a name and save it into your presets. So then, so we'll get do that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this. And the way I normally do this is I move the overlay video up to the top. So I'm demonstrating this. I'm going to add an overlay title and double click on it and now all I have to do is go through my presets and there's my little rectangle click on it boom it's done and I go back and voila I've got a border around my PIP and that's how that is done pretty handy huh and presets really are a powerful tool in LumaFusion and I encourage you to to take a look at them if you haven't. Just like the title, the, the uh, lower thirds that I use at the beginning of when I start talking in these uh, creating videos or photos and videos, that's a preset. I just click on a button, or just I click on the preset rather, and it just inserts it into the uh, this title frame that I've just created. And bing, I've got a finished product. So. Explore video presets if you haven't already because they are really, really helpful. So thank you very much for checking in on this episode, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.